sometimes kids came to me later, they, they, they tell me there's something wrong with the aorta, there's like a narrowing or co arc or something. What, what's that all about? Well, coarctation of the aorta is another common type of congenital heart disease. Um, and we put it in the category of congenital heart disease, even though the problem actually, actually exists outside the heart. It's not actually located inside the heart. And with coarctation of the aorta, there's a narrowing or a blockage of the main blood vessel that carries the circulation to the entire body. It can occur anywhere in that blood vessel, but the most typical location for it is that the large artery arises from the heart, it gives off the blood supply to the arms and to the head, and then as it turns in the back, right where it makes the turn, is generally speaking where that blockage typically occurs. And how do we fix that? Well, fixing it uh, depends upon, again, the age of the patient and the type of presentation that the patient has. So. In coarctation of the aorta, we have babies that fit into two, we have children that fit into two different categories. The first category of children are those that become sick from their coarctation early in life. And usually most of those patients will be sick in the first week or 10 days uh, of life. Uh, sometimes they will present a little bit later, two or three months of age, but generally they're quite sick from the problem and they do need something done about it relatively early in life. For those patients, surgery is extremely successful, and what we generally are going to do is to simply remove the area of the blockage, just cut it out, and sew the, the tissue around it back together again. So we cut out the narrowed area, we bring the two areas on either side of the blockage together. So just like in your house, if you had a broken pipe, you cut that area out and bring the two ends of the pipe together, it's exactly the same thing. And Little babies have very stretchable tissue, so we don't have to put a substitute in for the most of them. They don't require a patch or a tube or a replacement. They can have their own blood vessel brought back together again. The other group of patients with coarctation of the aorta, for some reason, and we don't 100% understand why some behave one way and some the other, will not present very early in life, and those will usually present later on in life. When I say later on in life, I mean beyond a year of age, sometimes even as an adult. The typical presenting factor that brings them to our attention is that they've got high blood pressure in their arms. Whenever a pediatrician or anybody examining uh, certainly a child notices that a patient has high blood pressure in the arms, the first next thing that they do is to feel to see what the blood supply is like to the legs. If the blood supply to the legs is decreased and the patient has high blood pressure in the arms, then this is generally going to be coarctation of the aorta, which means that there's going to be a blockage in between the top and the bottom of the circulation. And this is a, a relatively easy problem to detect, and many, if not most, pediatricians will be the first ones to make a diagnosis of a mature child who has a coarctation of the aorta. For those patients, we have more than one option. Again, the cardiologist may be able to place a balloon into the blockage in the coarctation of the aorta and open that area up with a balloon. Sometimes that area will collapse back down again and the cardiologist may place a small metal cage in that area to hold it open. That little metal cage is called a stent. So this is a, a, a possible way to treat some patients with coarctation of the aorta. Surgery can also be done for coarctation of the aorta in a mature child and also has ab very, very, very good results. Uh, the patients do have to have an anesthetic. They are going to have a small scar on the side of their chest and they will have a recovery from the operation. It's not clear which of these treatments is the best treatment for every child with coarctation of the aorta. So as cardiologists and as cardiac surgeons, we, we examine those mature patients that have coarctation of the aorta. And for some of them, we'll use a balloon because the blockage is in a very narrow area and the rest of the aorta is normal. And for others who've got more of a longer type of narrowing, surgery is a better alternative. For the younger children, for the children under six months of age and most of the ones under a year of age, surgery really is the only option. The balloon is not a good option. Thank you very much.